Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the Happy Blacky channel. If you're new here, my name is Angel. Welcome and thanks for joining me today. If you're a family member, you already know that I appreciate you. So we're just going to go straight into this video. I will be sharing several tips on how to have a productive day. I feel like this is so important because many of us are struggling, you know, to get back to our old schedule after two whole months of summer holiday gallivanting enjoying the sun and summer which actually just disappeared without even saying goodbye you know sun go i found it in monaco dancing in do <laughs> i'm actually going to be serious in this video this video is for you whether you are going back to work school you know working from home whether you're a full-time housewife full-time mom or just anyone you know trying to achieve a productive day and i hope that it helps you what's also very important is that all that i will be sharing today is something you can do within the first 30 minutes to one hour before your day actually begins which is cool so stay with me enjoy and please don't forget to like and subscribe it's just a simple way of saying thank you I believe that how productive your day goes is dependent on the night before and how intentional you choose to spend your morning. So let's begin with the night before. Um, one thing I like to do is clean the most part of my home the night before. That way it just saves me a lot of time and of course energy. So instead of waking up to a dirty space and not feeling motivated to work because I have so much cleaning to do. And also instead of spending time cleaning rather than being productive I would rather just wake up to a very clean space that way I can get straight into work which is why cleaning in the weekends is a huge part of my routine as much as I love to enjoy my weekends because when I am relaxed I feel rejuvenated to start the week and of course I love my Mondays so in order to achieve that I make sure that by Sunday night my home is clean that way I wake up feeling refreshed and ready to start my week another tip is to wake up very early if possible before anyone so that means you have to get enough sleep and for me that means I have to set my bedtime alarm in order to get that seven to eight hours of sleep because I find that when I don't get enough sleep I wake up feeling very cranky which just ruins my day also what is very important is that when your alarm rings try not to snooze just get up even if you don't get out of bed you can just start to feel awake that way you are saying to yourself that I am ready to start my day another important tip is to start your day with thankfulness so for me the moment I open my eyes I say thank you God for seeing another day and the reason I do this is because when I see a day as a privilege I want to pour more into it and I also find that when I just jump into the world that is social media you know I begin to absorb things that I shouldn't and before I know it it's midday and I haven't done anything I begin to feel lethargic and you know just lazy in around so which is why I would say word before world um, what is also very good is that if you can get up out of bed it is very good to just go out and get fresh air or sit quietly you know even if it's for five minutes with yourself that way you already start to have an idea of how you want your day to be so sometimes I can actually get out of bed if my son is not awake and I just go and sit and find time to breathe and feel the day. Another important thing you want to do is hydrate. It is so important to drink water first thing in the morning. I can't even emphasize on this because you're most likely to wake up feeling dehydrated and it just helps release toxins from your system. So if I don't have a bottle of water by my bedside, I just get up and have a glass of water or make myself a cup of tea. I always add 
two spoons of apple cider vinegar and a slice of lemon to my water or tea and that is because I do intermittent fasting so that way it just helps reduce my hunger level and I can carry on my day without feeling super hungry. So another thing I like to do is write down a to-do list or set a daily goal. I feel it is better to finish a task no matter how small than be busy with several other tasks and never finish, you know. And so what I do is I make a list of the things that I hope to achieve for the day and I add a bit of color to make it look appealing and of course I set a time frame that way I am kind of motivated to finish within that period now I know that some people say it is very good to begin with the most difficult task I just always like to go with what I am comfortable with and I think that it is up to you to know what you can finish within a period of time so it's good to set very realistic goals for the day and don't forget to celebrate your small wins when you tick off done So the next thing is to look good to feel good. Now this may sound funny or unrealistic especially if you're working from home but this works for me. So I'm not saying that you have to dress up like you're going for a meeting just to sit at home, no. But you can take a quick shower and dress up in what you're most comfortable with instead of just sitting around with your pyjamas. This tip is mostly for people who are going to work so because you wake up not feeling good you don't have to not look good. Actually the reverse is always the case for me so I realize that when I dress up looking good and smelling good I feel good. Create a conducive atmosphere for your work whether you're working from your kitchen table or in an office. I find it so important to treat your workplace sacred. So for example, if I am having a typical writing day, I burn an incense and I listen to my playlist on Spotify, which is actually a collection of non-English music because um, I just do that not to get distracted by singing along to songs that I know. I know it's weird, but hey, that's just me. of distractions something you can do which is also what I like to do is to put my phone on flight mode this is to avoid messages and mails from coming in because the fact that I am home doesn't mean that I should be available all the time especially when I have work to do sometimes I just put the phone away because I know how tempted I can be to reach for it and when I have breaks which I think is also important to do you should take five to ten minutes break even though you're working from home I just read an article online or check my mails instead of getting my phone and start scrolling through social media this is just me it may be very strict to some other people you know putting your phone in flight mode or putting it away but this is how I can avoid distractions so guys these are my tips on how to have a productive day and like I said you can do all this within the first 30 minutes to one hour before your actual day begins. I hope that it helps and please leave me a comment to let me know if it is something you are already doing or you have learned one thing or two from the tips that I have shared. So don't forget to please like and subscribe. I would really really appreciate that. See you in my next video. Bye bye.